Okay, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be looking at addition and subtraction algorithms. Now, as with a lot of this stuff at the start of the grade 7 year, you're probably familiar with a lot of it from previous years. So we're sort of uh, the idea is sort of getting everyone to scratch, sort of seeing where everyone's at with your mathematics that you've learned over the last couple of years. So uh, you might be great at this, excellent. Then uh, you can just fly ahead with it. If it's the first time you've seen some of this stuff, then you get a great chance to sort of um, have a look at it nice and slowly at your own pace. Okay, so first off, we're still with our learning goal that students will be able to solve problems involving comparison, addition and subtraction of integers and your uh, sort of success criteria for this will be that you will be able to correctly apply the addition and subtraction algorithms. Okay, right, let's get on with it. So the first thing you might be asking yourself is what is an algorithm? Well, you probably use algorithms all the time without even thinking about it. So for instance, uh, an algorithm might be when you are eating your breakfast. So there's sort of some steps for that. So you might pour your cereal and you get a spoonful of the cereal, you eat it, then you ask yourself, is it finished or is it empty maybe? If the answer is no, go back and eat some more. If the answer is yes, you cheer for yourself. Yes, finished my cereal. Okay, so that's the idea of an algorithm, a series of steps that you repeat with an end goal in in mind, i.e. that you would uh, you know, finish your cereal, you get to cheer, you're excited, ready to get uh, everything else going for the morning. Okay, so we're going to look at the algorithms to be able to add and subtract larger numbers than maybe some of those mental strategies we learned in the last video maybe they won't work as easily and you just want to get the pen and paper out and smash through it. Now you've probably seen these so I'll, I'll move through them quite quickly. Okay, so firstly we're going to have a look at adding together the numbers 467 plus 192. Okay, so when you see these numbers like this the first thing you need to do is you want to rewrite them. Okay, so step one well, step one, rewrite them, and you want to line them up in their place value. So you'll have 467 plus 192. Okay, right. So once you're uh, at this stage, so remember that important point that they are the numbers are lined up by place value. Okay, that's very important. Now, starting in your units column, you add down the column. So 7 plus 2 is 9. Okay, so we're fine with that. Right, 6 plus 9 is 15. So, what we do is that we write the 5 here and we carry the 1 up here. Okay, so the extra 10 is carried up. Okay, so that 1 belongs to this 5 to make the 15. Okay, so now when we're adding up our hundreds column, uh, we have 4 plus 1, but then we have this extra 1 up here. Okay, so 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 1 more is 6. So 659 is the answer of 467 plus 192. So that's how you carry out your addition algorithm. Same thing for adding any numbers together uh, with whole numbers anyway. Decimals is pretty much the same, but we won't be visiting that till later in the year. Okay, now let's have a look at the subtraction algorithm. So again, when we see these two numbers given to us here, 476, uh, take 295. The first thing you do again is rewrite them correctly. 476 take 295. Okay, so again, they're lined up by place value. Okay. 
Right, now, this time, ah, oh, again, maybe something you might not have thought about. The first number is the one that goes on top, the second one goes on the bottom. Not necessarily about largest and smallest, it's just that it sort of ends up at this stage that your larger number is going to be on top, really. Okay, so let's have a look. So, 6, maybe we'll use blue, different colour to sort of show you the working. Right, so 6 minus 5 is 1, so we're fine with that. 7 minus 9, so that would usually get us negative 2, but there's an issue with that. We can't take 7 from 9 and stay in positive integers, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to borrow an extra 10 from here, from the hundreds column, okay? So we cross out the 4, write a 3 there for ourselves, and this becomes 17, okay? So we're effectively taking the 9 from the 47. Okay, is one way for you to think about it. So now, but now we've got 17 here. So this one isn't a one in that's in this tens column. Okay, it's actually a 10 that's now in this column. So this is a 17 minus 9 is 8. And then we're left with 3 minus 2 is 1. So 476 minus 295 is 181. Okay, now you'll have plenty of chances to practice those. Uh, with the exercises, if you're feeling like you know what's going on, please skip ahead, do some of the word style questions. Um, but it's always a good idea to make sure that you're not sort of making a lot, any errors, okay? And there are some challenging questions for you to have a go at in uh, that particular exercise, okay? So thank you very much for watching.